everyone welcome back i am inviting you guys in to my bathroom today which i don't think i've ever shared like a full detailed video about like what's in my shower so this is what this video is all about and let's talk feminine hygiene let's talk body care it is officially like winter i am so sorry for all of you who are experiencing snow negative temperatures just the freezing cold okay i've been there i lived it for 23 years <laughs> before I moved here to California, but surprisingly it does get very cold and dry here I know all of my East Coast people are like rolling their eyes right now and People that actually experience cold, but I promise you LA actually does get cold and my skin definitely feels it So every time the seasons change I always like to switch out not only my skincare products, but also my body care products So this video is gonna be all about that. I'm gonna be taking you guys into a full deep dive about what is inside of my shower um, and then some just hygiene tips that I like to use and you know shaving tips all of that like just good body hair because I, I feel like I don't really talk about that as much like there's always a huge emphasis on my channel about skincare and beauty and stuff like that but I never really share body care just I mean mainly because I don't really show my body clearly <laughs> um, so sometimes I feel like it's a little bit redundant but for me personally I just feel my best when I'm actually taking care of my body so I wanted to give you guys my tips um, and things that I've learned along the way so I feel like that was a very long intro let's get into it I guess I would just give you guys a little tour of my bathroom first or tour of my shower so I have these two caddies over here or not really caddies what are these called they're like like pockets this was like one of the main reasons I absolutely fell in love with this apartment and I just love having this because I can display all of my body care which is up at the top over here and then my hair care which this isn't all of my hair care but if you guys want an in-depth like hair care routine then I can share that but honestly a lot of what I use is by Olaplex so yeah, starting with my body care, you can obviously see the body wash that I love to use is by Nivea and shout out to Nivea for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I genuinely do use their body care, so I just felt like it was the perfect way to share, you know, the products that I've been using currently by them. In the like spring and summertime, I was always using this one. This is the nourishing body wash with nourishing serum in their botanical blossom um, scent. So it's just like fresh and summary and stuff but recently i mean this one's almost done so i just have this over here um but recently i've been using this one it's their nourishing body wash same exact thing nourishing serum but it just has the nourishing care scent i don't know if that's the exact scent but i don't know something about this just reminds me of winter maybe it's the colors I genuinely have no idea, but I really like this because it does gently like wash your body um, But it also makes sure your skin isn't stripped of the moisture Which is key for the winter time you need body washes that help nourish your skin that will not strip the moisture Otherwise like the second you get out of the shower your skin will look ashy You'll look like Casper the ghost and we do not like that especially if you got some melanin in your skin tone like ashy skin especially in the winter is just no bueno so this isn't the only thing that I use to like help with that nourishment but I do really like it so it says literally on the back like skin feels instantly soft and smooth provides long-lasting moisture leaves the skin completely nourished so I like that also is paraben free microplastic particle free the bottles recyclable and it contains a plant-derived ingredients and I know I'm literally reading right off the back but in case you're curious that's why I like it. Um, but more importantly, I just like the fact that it has a nourishing serum built into it. So my skin does stay hydrated. So I really like this. And this is actually quite key before I get into, you know, the rest of the body care products over here. This right over here is my baby. I love these mittens so, so much. And I use it with the Nivea Nourishing Body Wash. Um, also, I forgot to mention, it's super affordable. That's kind of the main reason why I like it because we use body wash literally every single day and I use a lot of it like I like a good lather so you know you want something that will not break the bank especially if you're using it every single day so I love how affordable this is I will link it below but anyways back to my lovely eco tools mittens this is what they look like I've been using these for years it was actually my mother that introduced me to like exfoliating gloves and I use this every single day um, I find some exfoliating gloves can be too exfoliating so you really just have to make sure you're finding one that is you know best suited for you, you don't want to like harm your skin I found the eco tools ones are the best um, and this is what they look like up close it just has a little bit of like abrasiveness to it so it really helps to just 
first of all, give a good lather on like whatever body wash you're using. Like it looks really, really lush, if, if you will. But I also just like the fact that I can like scrub my skin, make sure it's super smooth. If you use like a typical loofah or even like, you know, a little washcloth, like, oops, <laughs> like this or something, I would just recommend you switch to gloves. It will not only like really deep clean your skin, like give a good, you know, scrub on your body and you will literally like, it, the water will be a different color, which it's not always dirt. Sometimes it can be dead skin but it works really well and they're so cheap. So I just, you know, switch them out a lot um, and I just like them. And I just like to like hang them dry kind of. And you know, I used this yesterday and it's completely dry now. So um, I believe it doesn't harbor any like bacteria and stuff too, which is important. I love using a body scrub once or twice a week. And I didn't always used to use this because I always thought body scrubs were so annoying. Like it gets your whole bathroom dirty and like, yeah, it still kind of does you know, but it does make your bathroom smell really nice. So um, the ones that I have over here, this is the body scrub that I love to use. Um, I actually recently just got into this, but it's the OC Salt of the Earth Body Scrub. First of all, it smells incredible. I don't know how to describe the scent, but it has ingredients like shea butter and babasu and avocado oils. Oh, and it also has rose and Himalayan pink sea salt, which the pink sea salt is like majority of what is in this product but I just absolutely love it. Like it coats your skin in the most luxurious feeling oil. And then when you wash the body scrub off, those oils stick. So it just adds another layer of moisture. And I feel like in the winter time, you know, our skin does tend to get ashy, which we need to exfoliate. So I just, I don't know. I really, really like this. It is a little bit pricey, but I've used this multiple times and I still have like half the bottle left. So you really don't need a lot for this. And it's just a nice treat for yourself. Like it feels nice. It feels like a pamper, you know, day every single time I use it. I feel every time I use it, I feel like I'm at the spa or something. Um, and then after you get out of the shower, you don't even always need to apply moisturizer. It like actually coats your skin in a really luxurious oil. So we love that. And I've used other body scrubs too. I liked the Sol de Janeiro one. I've used um, the Frank body frank and body ones as well that however does get your bathroom like really dirty your bathtub like the, the coffee scrubs and everything which i tend to not to use it a lot because of that okay real quick i'll just share what else i have on the top compartment over here so i usually keep cleansers in there because after i go to the gym i like to cleanse my skin just because there's sweat and like sunscreen and stuff so these are the two i currently have actually i have one more but it's kind of back there, so I'm not gonna get it. Um, but this is the Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Cleansing Foam. This is what it looks like. I really like it. Um, it has like a nice, like smooth feeling on the skin. And then my daily microfoliant, I always keep this in the shower just cause I feel like it's the easiest way to get your skin exfoliated in the shower and it doesn't make a mess anywhere else. Love these two. And I just kind of keep them on top of the body scrub over here. And then in the corner here, I guess I'll just take it out. Ooh. So I have another cleanser over here in case I don't wanna use the other one. Sometimes I just feel like using another cleanser. So I've been using the Summer Fridays Super Amino Gel Cleanser and I like how this feels as well and it does have a nice lather. And then last but not least up here, which concludes kind of like my body care in the shower, is the Biosense 100% Squalene Oil. And this, as well as the body scrub, as well as the Nivea Nourishing you know, Body Wash, this is what gets your skin right for the winter time. Like it's so important that you rehydrate your skin with oils and lotions and all of that in the winter because your skin is just at its driest form. So the squalene oil, I use this like right before I get out of the shower. So as my skin is still dripping wet, these are on the days where I'm not using the body scrub. I love going in with the Biosan squalene oil. And I just, this is like the biggest tip and I feel like I've mentioned this before, but in case you haven't heard it yet, make sure you put your oils on before you get out of the shower as your skin is still dripping wet lather the oils all over you and then come out number one it'll you know speed up your drying time um, or you can just take a towel and pat dry and then you are left with like the most beautiful glowing skin and i feel like just rehydrating your skin with an oil like squalene oil is going to help with just like cracked skin or you know whether or not it helps with cellulite or stretch marks, I don't know, but I know that, you know, hydrating your skin does help with stretch marks. So I really like it. I've also used bio oil, but 
I always kind of go back to the Biosan Squalene Oil. Another tip that I have is instead of using shaving gels or shaving creams or anything in the shower, I actually just like to use my body wash. So I just take my Nivea Nourishing Body Wash and I put this all over my legs or wherever I'm shaving and I use this to shave because as you're kind of moving it, um, number one, you're cleansing the skin, it adds a little bit of slip and then also it adds some moisture so your skin isn't super dry by the time you're done sh uh, shaving. And then I keep all of my shavers over here. So I have two over here. The main reason is because I haven't gotten a replacement head for my Billy Blazer, but blazer, did I say blazer? I meant razor. But this is the Billy Razor. This is my favorite razor. I'm not going to show it too close because I feel like there's hair remnants on here. I need to get a new head over here, but this has been my favorite shaver for probably, I want to say two and a half years now. I really like it. It comes in a ton of colors and then it comes with a little like nub over there that is magnetized and you can just kind of like stick your razor on and you're good to go. Um, the other one that I'm using kind of has a similar thing, um, but this one, I'm not even gonna show up close because there's hair, hair all over it. <laughs> but this is by, um, what is, who is this by? Oh, Flamingo, Flamingo. I just picked this up at Target because um, the Billy Blazer, the Billy, why do I keep saying blazer? The Billy Razor, the, you know, replacement heads, I think you have to order online or something, I don't know. I'm gonna do that right after this video though. <laughs> and I always make sure to shave after I exfoliate. I don't know if that's the correct way of doing things, but I just like doing that because then it makes sure that there's no like dead skin or whatever that I'm shaving over. It just leaves like a really clean, smooth feeling. And then sometimes I feel like if you shave before you exfoliate, when you go into exfoliate, you know, like it can kind of get into your skin and it tends to sting. So that is just my tip. The Billy Razor. <laughs> does a really good job at giving you a close shave. So my legs and anywhere else I shave feel very smooth. So that is everything kind of on the top half of my shower. Now I will go on to the bottom half. So there's not much here I mentioned. This is just my hairbrush. I got this recently in the Sephora sale, um, but this is by Pattern Beauty, um, Tracy Ellis Ross's brand, and I really like it. I feel like it's very similar to the Denman brush. But I like it a little better because anytime I used to use the Denman brush, this whole thing would always slip out and it was really annoying. And I haven't I haven't had that issue with this one. So I really like it. I feel like it detangles my hair really nicely. And then if I want to wear my hair curly, it like clumps and like coils the curls really nice. I don't know what the terminology is, but it's a good brush. And it comes in a mini as well. That's a little cheaper. So the shampoo that I like to use is this one by Ma Maui Moisture. It's their Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo. Um, it looks like this and I don't have much to say about it. I really like that the first ingredient is aloe It gives a really good lather and it doesn't strip my hair of like natural oils So I really really like using that like regardless of the season and this one honestly I kind of just have it in here because I'm trying to finish it, but it's by headquarters. It's their cleansing shampoo I really liked their other products like their conditioners and stuff. Their shampoo is good It's just I like the Maui moisture one a little bit better, but this is super inexpensive and I think available at Walmart if you guys are interested And then last but not least I have my favorite Favorite hair mask of all time. This is the Olaplex number no. eight bond intense moisture mask um, It's incredible it's absolutely incredible. And this I feel like has saved my winter hair um, or just like dry damaged hair in general. Like my hair gets very, very dry. And especially in the winter, it gets even more dry. Like my scalp and everything, everything gets dry in the winter, to be honest. And this has saved it. Like I can't say enough good things about it. Like after you use it, it literally just feels so moisturized. Like your, your hair just feels so incredibly moisturized. I don't know what they put in this but I love it and I bought like four backups in the Sephora sale. Um, so yeah, I'm stocked up. This is my uh, shampoo, or sorry, my conditioner of choice and I actually only use this one way. So I use this before I detangle or as I detangle my hair as soon as I get into the shower. So before shampoo, before anything, I get the big bottle of this because I need it. I use so much and I use this to detangle my hair, especially if I've worn it curly for the week or the weeks. This is the only thing that helps get tangles out of my hair. So if you have coarse hair, you know, super kinky curls and you have an issue with detangling and want something that isn't going to like spend all your money, this is so cheap. I think it's like five bucks for this big ass bottle. And um, yeah, it's their Hello Hydration Conditioner. Deep moisture for hair. 
and it detangles like butter, like so, so good. So that doesn't actually fit in the hair area. So I just kind of keep it down here. So that's basically everything in my shower. Now, once I get out of the shower, um, as I mentioned, I use a lot of oils. Like if I'm using the body scrub, my skin is still very like kind of oily and slick from that after I wash it off. I still prefer to put on lotions, especially in the winter time, because I feel like my skin like instantly just like, like soaks up any oils and moisture that I put on it. So sealing everything with a lotion is important. And this y'all, has changed the game for me. Like it's genuinely changed the game for me and anyone I put this on agrees. It is so moisturizing. This is one of the most hydrating and moisturizing and nourishing body lotions I've ever tried. Um, it's the Nivea Essentially Enriched 48 Hour Moisture um, Lotion. And this one has almond oil and it has their deep nourishing serums. So it's for dry to very dry skin. Um, but I would just recommend this to anyone for the winter time because our skin naturally just gets a lot drier and like at the back Nivea always shows like how moisturizing it is and She's all the way at the end, baby. She is rich. She is thick. She is very moisturizing and I absolutely love it um, This is also I, I remember like makeup Shayla or someone talking about how they like using this on their legs in the summertime to add like insane shine but not so much grease um, so, you know, if you're someone who shows your body or your legs or whatever it is, or you're trying to look good for your man, your hubby, then this is a good lotion to pick up. Like, I'm always so shocked. Like, okay, I actually don't really have much lotion on my hands right now because I was washing them earlier, but I'm just going to put on a little so y'all can see how, like, moisturizing it makes your hands look. It also does absorb really quickly, so I like that, but do you guys see the difference? And it smells kind of like um, like baby lotion or baby powder. So it's very, <laughs> I don't know why I like that scent, but it's very nostalgic for me. So I love that. And oh my, like the shine it adds, like this is just my hand. So it's ma imagine like all over your body. So yeah, I would definitely highly recommend you guys pick this one up. I feel like there was just an earthquake. My camera was just shaking. Okay, so imagine with me, you know, I just stepped out of the shower. My body is glistening with the oils that I applied before I got out of the shower. And then I apply the Nivea body lotion all over my body. It is shining. It is looking rich. It is looking melanated. Like, it's just beautiful. My last step that kind of seals the deal is I like to put on a perfume. Um, because I feel like when your skin is oily and, like, moisturized, perfume just kind of, like, enhance. I don't know. It, it gets enhanced somehow by those oils. I don't know. There's some kind of science. I heard it somewhere, but I, I genuinely noticed that. So this is the perfume. This is the perfume that I always like to use. Um, you can see it's pretty much almost done, but their body spray is also just as good. It smells exactly the same. This one just lasts a tiny bit longer. This is the Sol Cherosa 62 by Sol de Janeiro. And it just like adds a really like, just kind of like, it makes me feel like an African queen. Like it just smells like coconut and the tropics and then mixed with all like the oils and everything, it just gets enhanced. And then my whole bathroom smells like it. It's just, it's a luxurious experience. So I will link this, but then also the, um, the body spray version because that's like way cheaper. Okay, actually one more thing. I had to mention the deodorant that I've been using for, I, I'd say like honestly the past six months or something. It's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant. I never really saw the importance of like getting a luxe deodorant until I tried this. Like, I always smell good. Like, I I feel like that's a flex and I'm, I am trying to flex because I always smell good. I've been told I always smell good. <laughs> and it actually leaves your underarms dry. Now it's not an aluminum free deodorant, whatever, but like based on all the dermatologists that have been speaking out about aluminum free things, like it really isn't that harmful to you. Or maybe it is, but I don't know. I, I just like the feeling of freshness under my arms. Um, and I still like the natural deodorants here and there, but I don't know, this has just been, I feel like I'm talking too much about deodorant. But anyways, this is the deodorant I use, Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. It smells incredible. So if you want to gift yourself <laughs> for the new year and you want to come into the new year smelling fresh and luxe and like a rich auntie, this is the deodorant you need. It's it's so good. That is basically it for my shower routine, my hygiene routine. Um, for all those haters that are trying to be like, 
You don't even show yourself in the shower. How are we supposed to know these work? They do. I wouldn't be talking about them if they didn't work. I don't have to show my body to you to prove that lotions and oils and whatever I talk about works. Just know that it does because your girl likes to feel good, okay? And I wanna, you know, recommend the best to you guys as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. Let me know if you guys would like a more, maybe in-depth feminine hygiene routine. Um, I feel like I've never shared anything that personal, so maybe that's another step. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that below. Let me know if you have any products to recommend to myself or our community over here in the comments. Thank you again to Nivea for sponsoring a portion of today's video. I'm gonna go ahead and link all of the Nivea products I talked about below, as well as all of the other products that I talked about in this video, because I know it was very product heavy, okay? So please take the time to pamper yourself. Make sure you're taking care of your body for yourself, you know, whether you show it or not. I think it's important to just take care of yourself and make sure that your body is feeling loved and moisturized and soft for you, okay? For no one else. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.